for the watch. Uh, oh. Hi, Brian. Oh. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, today we're gonna talk about the septum piercing. Little story time, I basically got my septum pierced twice. The first time was fucking horrible. So basically, um, I grew up in Shanghai, and in Shanghai, I mean, in pretty much every every city, usually, you're not allowed to get pierced before being 18. So I went to a really, really shitty studio, and the guy clamped my septum. I don't know why, but every piercing that I got in Shanghai, when piercers use clamps, they always clamp it super, super hard, like so hard, that it actually cuts blood flow. So at that point, I was already tearing up. And then he pierced it, but he pierced it with a needle that was too small for the jewelry that he was gonna put in. When he then tried to put the jewelry in, it obviously didn't go through. And like at that point, I was just like crying like crazy because like it was so painful. And then like he paused for a little bit, and he tried again, didn't work. So he pierced my septum a second time with a bigger needle. And he put the jewelry and then I looked at myself in the mirror and I hated it like the jewelry it didn't suit my nose it was just too big and too dangly it was pierced too low and also it was slightly bit crooked so it just it was so bad like I hated it and I took it out like two days later and even taking it out was a pain because he screwed the balls on so so hard that sounded weird but yeah okay so that's the first story of my septum piercing the second time I got it pierced which is like how it is now. Uh, I got it pierced here in Montreal in a studio called Adrenaline. Uh, that was about three years ago and everything was so so nice. Like the guy was super nice. When he clamped it, it wasn't painful at all. And the clamp isn't supposed to be painful. It's supposed to be a little bit uncomfortable, but not painful. And it was so fast. Like it lasted like three seconds. Clamp, pew, and then put the jewelry and then Done. And that's how a septum piercing should be. I should have asked him to pierce it a little bit higher. So when you go get your septum pierced, just kind of decide for yourself where you want it pierced depending on your nose structure and also where you want the jewelry to be. Because mine, since it's pierced very low, I need to get really small jewelry because I don't like my jewelry to dangle. That's just a personal preference. Uh, just make sure that you know exactly how you want it, where you want it, the kind of jewelry that you want. Uh, mine was pierced with a 14 gauge, but I actually downsized it to a 16. And now I'm thinking of downsizing it again to maybe an 18 or 20. I think the pain itself isn't too bad. I mean, you'll probably tear up because that's just what happens when you get the area of your nose pierced. You're just gonna cry. But the pain is not too painful. I would say maybe a 6 out of 10. And if you go to a really good piercer, it's just gonna go super fast. Also, an important point is that the septum piercing should be pierced in the sweet spot. So a piece of skin that's between the bridge of your nose and like the cartilage. And also, I didn't think that there would be a smell, but there is actually a smell and that's something like during the healing, obviously there's the smell of, you know, dried blood, but I still occasionally get this weird smell that you get like I don't know if you guys have like piercings on your ear and then you remove the jewelry and it smells like shit yeah that's kind of what a septum piercing smells like um if I don't touch it it doesn't smell at all but sometimes I'm gonna play with it and like flip it or unflip it and I can smell that so it's kind of annoying I mean you get used to it it's not like it smells really really bad it's just like huh uh. That's why it's important to clean it like every day. I just, you know, put some water on it, you know, twist the jewelry. Actually now, right now it doesn't smell, so that means it's clean, guys. Cleaning the healing went really, really easily. It bled a little for like the first few days, if I remember well. Um, and it obviously it hurt when I like touched it. And for me personally, there was no swelling at all. Just a tiny bit of blood, but it didn't really swell. And also, I didn't get a keloid. I know that some people get those. Um, I got one for my nose. Didn't get that for my septum, so that was cool. If you get a keloid, um, how I got rid of it on my nose was I mixed a little bit of coconut oil and tea tree oil, and I just rub it in, and that's it. So yeah, I hope that helps if you guys get that. But yeah, overall, I highly recommend this piercing. I mean, the pain is like really not that bad. Don't go to a shitty place where they'll pierce you even though you're underage or for a really cheap price. Don't do that because that's what I did and it was so not worth it. I wasted like, okay, it was super cheap. It was like $20. <laughs> 
so cheap but the pain was not worth it and yeah just not worth it at all but yeah overall it's just such an easy piercing you can hide it however you want like you can flip it gone and then okay it's kind of uncomfortable like it tickles my nose and I don't like doing that but it's very easy to hide. Once it's healed, you can actually take it out for maybe a few days without it closing up. That's what I do sometimes because I, I really don't like to flip it. But sometimes I just want to not have a septum piercing, so I just take it out. And every night when I go to bed, I just put a jewelry without the balls. I just put it in. Sometimes I forget to put the jewelry before I go to bed, and that's okay. Like I've gone for three days without having it and it, that it doesn't close up. During the healing though, like if you want to hide it from school, parents or, or your job or whatever, I recommend just you flip it up and you just leave it up. Like do not, don't like try to play around with it. Don't like flip it and then up and down, up and down. Like don't do that because during the healing, the piercing is very sensitive. You just have to be really careful. And if you touch it too much, it might cause infection. So uh, I know that some people also get pierced with a straight bar. I was told that that's not a really good thing because then the piercing heals like straight when it should be healed. Like, I mean, obviously this is curved, so it, that's how it should heal. So I don't really recommend doing that, but you should ask your piercer ahead if you want to do that because you want to keep it hidden. And basically the moral of the story is that you should find a good piercer. This is so important because the septum piercing is so easy to fuck up. Like do not get it fucked up. What I recommend doing, if you don't know any piercer, like just go to a few different ones, read reviews, just go in there with a bunch of questions and ask them to go through the process. You can also ask them like how many septum piercings they've done, like if they do it a lot, how many years they've been working there. I really recommend doing your research before going to a piercer. That's pretty much it. I really hope it helped you guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. And if you want to see more of me and hear more of my little advice, you can hit that subscribe button right here and yep, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!